Hi, I'm Ashley Miller. I'm sure you remember me from some of our other videos. I am here today with one of my students. Um, as you know, I teach here at UT, and this is a wonderful student I have, Josh Alexander. He's here to talk a little bit with you about peer review. Um, Josh, do you want to introduce yourself real quick? Sure. Uh, my name is Josh Alexander. I am a history major, senior uh, here at UT, and I'm majoring in history with a minor in biology. It's very diverse. There it is. Yes. Well, I've asked Josh to come speak with you all because he's a wonderful rhetoric student. He has taken Rhetoric 306 and he's currently in a more advanced class, Rhetoric 309K. Um, so he's done lots of peer reviews, um, which is what you're going to be doing shortly here. Um, and I just thought we could chat a little bit about, you know, the great things about peer review, some of the difficulties you might encounter, and um, some tips for you moving forward. So. Josh, what is your favorite thing about peer review? What do you like about it? I think the thing I like the most about it is uh, it's great to get the feedback for like grammatical errors and sentence structures. All those things can be corrected, but for me, I think the most important thing is to get uh, make sure that your message that you're trying to get to the reader is clear, and um, that sort of goes into answering the, the who, what, when, where, how questions and. Uh, because so often, for me as a writer, I have it in my mind that uh, it's very clear, and then sometimes that doesn't quite transfer to paper, as we all know. So yes. that's one of the, I think, the most important things. As long as they can 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 say that this is clear to them, that that, that is probably the most important thing. Otherwise, you're in a bit of a mess. No, absolutely. I think that happens to all writers. We have these ideas in our heads, and then we sit down to type, and it doesn't always come out the way we thought. Um, and sometimes, as a writer, it takes you a few drafts to really understand what you're trying to say anyway. So it can be so helpful to have somebody read your work and say, this confused me. I didn't understand what you were doing here. Um, and okay. usually, I think when they point to those moments, um, even if you're not really sure immediately why it confused them, it's your job then as a writer to say, hey, even though this seemed clear to me, someone didn't get it. So what is it about my writing that could be more clear? How else could I say this? Um, and what else could I add to my draft to make it completely, to make my argument completely thorough? Right. Yeah, that's great. And I think that's great advice, especially as you pointed out. Sometimes you'll get a good grammar tip from a friend, or you might swap with the best speller in the class. And that's always helpful. But even if you don't get someone who's the grammar police, um, that's okay, you can still take a lot of value from understanding where they had questions um, and to try to think about how to answer your reader's questions. Great. How about um, some difficulties? Peer review, I know it can be tricky sometimes. It can be hard. Is there anything you've ever faced that, that's a tough spot? Oh, well, like we discussed, sometimes you get that, that peer reviewer, if you will, uh, that doesn't um, give you a lot of info back. And, Oftentimes, I think that that's just a result of, of being apprehensive. We don't, we don't all, very few of us will consider ourselves great writers, and uh, therefore, nobody wants to be ultra critical of your work. And so, a lot of times, what I'll do is I will. Um, I'm pretty sure most of us know when we have like a weak area or a weak spot, whether it's a paragraph or a couple sentences, um, and go in there and, and ask like a pointed question, like, "Hey, I know this is uh, kind of a weak area for me. How would you?" reword this? How would you restructure this? What are some things that you, you might do to improve this because I feel like it's uh, insufficient? Yeah, that's great advice because um, I think Josh is right. A lot of times you might be paired with someone who doesn't give as much feedback as you might hope. Um, and it's important to remember that the peer review, it's not submitting it to your teacher. It's not submitting it to the AI instructor. Um, it's, it's a peer exchange. and. So there's, there's going to be, you know, it's, it's not as though everything they write will be the exact steps to getting an A on the paper. Um, you might need to take some initiative and ask them, you know, I was hesitant about this paragraph. Um, I don't know if, if my topic sentence was very clear. How, how did this read to you? What might you suggest? So asking a pointed question can be really helpful. I also think in those situations, um, if you've gotten a peer reviewer who hasn't said much to you, um, which, you know, it does happen, um, you have also peer reviewed someone else's paper, so all of the peer review questions that you've thought about 
in applying to someone else, um, to their work, you can apply those to your own work. Um, it, I think peer review generates a lot of self-reflection. Sure, it's reciprocal, absolutely. Yeah, great. Well, Josh, do you have any tips for our students who are endeavoring on their first peer review? I think I just have one tip, and that, that is while, while we, we want to be critical, or not necessarily critical, but we want to point out mistakes, I think it's, it's just as uh, crucial to point out um, the positive, the, the, the good things about the paper, because um, that will enable me as a writer to kind of emulate what I was doing right versus and compare to the things that they thought was uh, not well, not doing, not good, I should say, so. I think that's perfect advice. That helps me so much as a writer if someone says, hey, this sentence makes a lot of sense, it's really clear, then I can go back and try to do more like that. Right, you can say, well, yeah. what did I do right here that they liked? And more specifically, they need to say why they liked it. That's even better advice. Um, so sharing both you know, criticisms and positive comments and being thorough with those comments. Why did this work? Why didn't this work? Um, thank you so much for joining us, Enjoyed Josh. it. Thank you. Good luck with the peer review.